purposes, but for the science of the day, of the moment, a, any peer-reviewed journal would side that this person, that the evidence um, showed that this person tried to kill you. Um, but the person adamantly insisted they did not. So imagine you had made that, you know, you said, okay, they tried to kill me. Because um, virtually all of you have said that, I believe. That you would side with rationality, or you hope you would side with rationality. Um, what would happen if, it could be years or decades later, some revolution in science enables them to, enables scientific world to see things differently, and this happens to change the way that the information is read by the scientific community, and it comes out that this person didn't actually try to kill you. What would be your reaction to that? What can you even imagine what your reaction would be to that? Um, now again, some of you may not think that this was fair the way I set it up. Um, I'm trying to go about this in the, the best way I know how. But I would just ask you to think about that. What, what would happen if your view, based, and it could be really strongly based on peer review things, what if your view right now on something as, as critical and, and as impacting to, to your life and the lives of others as, as um, someone being convicted of, of trying to kill someone or, or of killing someone or what have you, what if it comes out later that that's wrong? I mean, I know this is something oftentimes reserved for um, good drama, you know, playwrights will use scenarios like this, but but things like, things akin to this can and do happen. And I would just, I would just want to know what your response would be. Do you think that you would ever recognize that, that you would ever change your view, or would you try to hold on to the the fading away once establishment view. Um, and and why why is it supremely rational to cling to a system of peer review over personal convictions and, and interconnected the interconnectedness that you gain um, when when you can deeply get to know someone in real life. Why, why does that always seem to trump for these for for atheists, secularists, humanists, at least in what they say? And I realize some of you were honest enough to say that you know you're not certain how you'd respond. And, and I, again, I I know it's a hypothetical, and many of you may not think it's fair the way I set it up. But try and, and imagine it, or think about why it is that that you place so much stock in a system that has shown that it still has flaws. It's certainly the best system we have for overall improving of society, but as far as individual, personal um, things, it, it sometimes it conflicts with intuition, and sometimes it does end up conflicting ultimately with truth. Um, you just have to look at just the way the world's set up to see that science is not effect, you know, executed perfectly ever. I mean, sometimes it gets closer than others, and, and it's done a whole lot. And I'm not denying that. I'm not attacking science. But I'm just, I, I would like to know, or, or at least have you think about, why it is that you're automatically ready to always th throw your cards in, in all things, with this thing, and, and you call that rationality. When... When I mean, there was there was a recent uh, thing I was hearing about. It wasn't today. It was last Friday, I believe, on Science Friday on NPR. And they talked about the uh, fMRI scans. I believe that's the term. But they had done these scans, and they had a subject in the scan. In this particular study, they'd uh, set things up so that um, their subjects they're getting their brain scanned. Well being presented with the simple thing of choosing between hitting a button they have two buttons trigger things in both hands and so they're told to choose one and then 
when they choose it to, to push the button of whichever hand they choose and I don't have all the details of it, it was something I heard over again this was on Science Friday on NPR but they they were looking at these brain scans while all this was going on and they could accurately predict not only when the person would push the button but they could figure out which button the person was going to push seven seconds seven seconds before they pushed it and this was just by monitoring um, the activity in the brain the you know which receptors were firing that they could tell from the scan because they could morally tell mostly from what I understood tell where the activity was rather than what was actually going on they could just see what parts of the brain were firing but but by merely looking at the parts of the brain that were firing they got it so that they could predict and again seven seconds in advance I mean that just kind of blew my mind and it's a really simple task and, and but it, it, the point of the study at least what seems to be the point that they inferred from it was the, the idea that we have this subconscious machinery in our mind and it's working underground so that, that our consciousness can focus on the here and now while um, things in the background you know kind of like on a computer you've got all these background things running but they're you know doing things in our subconscious and computating things and we can't see the computation so we don't know why we feel different ways but they pointed out that the, like when a person gets a gut feeling it's not coming from their gut it's coming from their brain and it's coming oftentimes from these subconscious uh, machinations that, that are going on and that are there for a reason and they, sh they say that this seems to be um, the fact that you know these things going on seem to be linked to the fact that when you follow your intuition oftentimes in tests you're more likely to you know when you follow your your intuitive choice on tests you're often more likely to, to get a good score and I'm not saying again that intuition is, is fail proof for anything I'm just but I'm just saying that, that to go inside with with some system some institutional setup that we have with peer review journals on absolutely everything and and in the case of some personal relationship you have with someone if, if, if all the peer review and, and scientific establishment in the world was behind going against what the person you were closest to in the world said to you why is it rational to believe an institutional setup um, even though it's, it's done a whole lot to advance society why is it inherently rational to trust in that rather than somebody that you know personally um, more deeply than you know any other person so anyway uh, I'd leave that uh, follow-up question with you and it's really kind of the, the gist um, of what I was getting at but I look forward to any of your responses critiques or whatever you can call me names if you want just keep it a little bit on the down low because if you get too out of hands I would have to start deleting comments or blocking people so I don't like to do that anyway take care